Mauricio, um, what did you make of that game and in particular Cole Palmer's performance? I am so pleased because I think never easy. Uh, we needed to win. I think we controlled the game until the second half in the 65, 60, 65 minutes. I think was uh, overall. I think we were the better side, and I think fully deserved the result. Too many positive performance. So happy, and then of course when you concede, uh, you increase the belief of the of the opponent. Premier League is like this. Uh, if you see the games. Uh, the previous game like uh, Arsenal, Liverpool or Manchester City or Newcastle, uh, you can understand the, the difficult to play here in this in this stadium. I think we need to give credit because it's a, it's a team, Luton, that really believe in the way that they play. Very good players, very good coach and of course always tough to play here. Um, that is why we needed a three point and we, we got what we, what we wanted. Two goals and, and assists is getting more and more important for your team as, as the weeks go by. Did you no, I think it's what I can say. It's, it's obvious that the important player for us, uh, the CC player, um, and then scoring goals like this. Uh, I think I am so pleased for him and for the team. Neil. After the first five minutes, uh, the team went along route one from Petrovic every time he got the ball. Sorry, sorry, sorry. After, After the first five minutes, yes. every time Petrovic got the ball, he went long. He kicked the ball long rather than playing out from the back. What means that? Deep it's not football. For the rest of, from, from earlier in the season. Was that planned? What? No, not really, not really. I think I didn't see like this, but okay, I respect your your view about the game. But we play maybe passes longer than shorter. But I think we try to play always, being clever in the way to try to break the pressure of uh, Luton. But we were combinating was a was an a mix. Under my view, was mix to play longer. With longer distance passes, that longer than shorter, but I think yes. No, what I can say, yes, maybe yes, maybe you know, I don't know. Jacob, Rizzo, what, what were your um, emotions, and what did you make of how the team played during the final twenty minutes after going three 0 up? The emotions. <laughs> Emotion is about to try to to win the game. Motions. Uh, you want to win the game, and and of course you are in the touchline trying to help with your decisions. Uh, and and in the end, uh, yes, it's about to to perform, to to manage well the player inside to the to the pitch, uh, different uh, sit situations. But of course, always football is about the motion, the motion that when you are uh, winning uh, like three nil, always you are nervous because. Something can happen different and can put in a in a difficult situation the game. And we concede one goal, and on the end it's normal. The belief of the opponent increase. And in Premier League, look, uh, too many games that happen. You know, the last the last game again, Brighton against Tottenham four 0 and on the end was four two and was you know, yeah, that is why Premier League is is tough. Andy, that was the question, no? That you wanted to hear my answer like this? this way. Um, Richard, may I firstly ask you just about the importance for confidence of getting, of winning your first game away in four? I think it was you lost four on the trot away from home and getting back to back victories to see out the year. Just the importance for, for confidence purposes. Yes, it's really, really important, I think, to finish well the 2023. Uh, looking the Looking forward to 2024 is and start well also. Um, yes, it's, I think it was, um, was really good to finish with, with good feelings and going to the, the new year, uh, keeping the momentum. And, and may I ask for a completely different uh, field? Uh, there's a story today that the PFA are considering legal action of the amount of games footballers are playing now to try, and, and Pep Guardiola has mentioned perhaps a 60 game cap should be introduced and said that the players need to take action 
Um, the fact that the players' union are considering taking legal action, I just wonder what your viewpoint is on that, please, as a coach. My point of view is uh, it's a business that provides too many people and too many different uh, areas. Uh, the comfortable life um, and of course it's a business that players are the principal actor and we need to care about them it's true that it's the only sport in the world that maybe the players are competing in uh, 10 11 months and and sometimes i think we need to manage better the way to to rest the player no to give the possibility to recovery um, when we compare with another uh, sport uh, only, only the football player are competing nearly 11 months, and that is for sure. And when you increase the level of competition, the football is fast. The player run more. Uh, we push them to every day to to improve and improve and improve in a physical condition. Also, they need rest and then they need recovery. Uh, I think that is a good point to to maybe to talk about to. To all realize that 11 player and in the squad to have 22, when the manager like uh, you know start to do changes, it's not that only need to play one starting 11 every single game, or maybe to restrict that maybe no start every two three days that like we are playing now in a busy you know period uh, to repeat with the same player. I don't know. It's too many uh, ideas that maybe we need to share all together and to find the best solution, but. I don't know because I, the first time that I, I hear that, if uh, I start to, to try to yes to find solution because I seen too many issues in the last few years and we need to be you know I think caution about the the situation and of course uh, we need to look after better our 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 players. Simon, hey Richard. Hello. Uh, no goal for Mad Wecky. Um, and what is it that he can add to the competition for places with Raheem and Ludwig? You're on the bench today, Chris Cole Palmer as well. No, it's important. I think it's, yes, we have a group of players that uh, all they need to feel uh, confident and they need to feel the, uh, that they can fight for the for the place on the starting eleven. Uh, yeah, that is when you have a big squad. I think we have a, a plenty of numbers. If you are all fit, we have many players there that can perform and can play. And as I think it's very positive to increase this level um, to, uh, in, in, in all these uh, uh, positions. OK, last one today, James, Sky Sports. As we head into January, how busy is you envisage being in the mm, Look, uh, that is a thing to talk with the club and, and with the owners and with the sporting director, that of course that we always we have very good communication and. I think we are not uh, worried about that. Uh, we are going to assess now. We have a few days, and, and of course, we're going to start the transfer window now. But I think it's, uh, it's the plan is to, to talk and, and see if we need to do something or not. And, but the most important, uh, under my opinion, my aspect is to work with this squad. That uh, we have very good squad. Is is only now. Uh, Pushing them to step up, growing up, recovering player, and but that is my focus. Is why I am 100% to try to to improve our squad, our the player that we have, rather to be focused in the in the market. Do you think the squad is almost strong enough to get into Europe as it is? Of course, I really believe in my squad, in the players. It's only the circumstances that we need to recover all the players that uh, are injured or we get some setback, you know, in player like. You know, Romeo Lavia that was involved last game, but he cannot be involved today. I think it's, it's about to be focused. That is my, our job, the coaching staff, is to be focused now and to help the, the young player and the player and the not so young uh, improve and improve every day. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year.